When you're on stage, you're gonna get hate and opinions, judgments from not hundreds, but millions of other people when you're on a big stage. And it's important to know who you are, where you're going, how you're gonna show up. So when you get on the stage, you have full confidence. Now, what do you do when you lose? Say you get beat in the game, you got blown out, your opponent got the best of you. It, hey, it just wasn't your day. How do you keep confidence there? That is one of the most important places to keep it because you're going to fail. You're not going to win all the games you're going to lose. But in order to maintain a strong foundational level of confidence, in order to build confidence, because it's not something fixed, it's not a life sentence. You don't just stay at one level of confidence your whole entire life. It's something you build. But in those moments, how do you gain or maintain your confidence? And it's in those moments, it's all about how you handle the adversity, how you handle the loss, how you handle the failure. Do you take it to heart and think that because you lost that you're a loser, because you failed that you're not good enough, you're unworthy, that it was shameful? Or do you look at it like, hey, I understand that without failure, success is not an option. This is the prerequisite. How am I going to deal with this? and maintain a high level of confidence. You deal with it by understanding that the failure is nothing more than a learning opportunity. It's a way that you can see a little bit further into yourself. What did I do wrong? Where did I mess up? How could I get even better? Where could I set other people up to win even more and myself up to win even more? Where can I do that and how can I improve? How can I build? And when you do that, Man, you have such a high level of confidence. You have such a belief in a bigger future. You have such a belief in your faith that things are going to get better. There's going to be a different outcome next time. I don't care how many or how bad it was, I'm going to get even better. And that's how you maintain a great level of confidence, even in the bad. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. I hope you found that valuable. I have so much more amazing content and videos coming and I don't want you to miss out. So subscribe. If you want some more awesome videos, you can check those out. Until I see you again in the next one, keep going out there, hunting your greatness inside and out.